Hello again everybody, this is Matador from freetradingvideos.com and this is part 6 of the stock and options uh, risk graph profiles a nice little series we've got going on here uh, today I wanted to talk about something that um, I had mentioned before but I want to do it in a more controlled way and this is a uh, sort of how to protect yourself against owning straight long stock in a scenario and uh, later on we'll take apart what it would be to protect yourself against a short uh, sell of a stock all right, so if you want to buy something like a stock, for instance, and you want to protect yourself from any kind of downturn, uh, even a down gap, especially, uh, maybe you want to take dividends in uh, as well, uh, you can do that very easily. So if we put in, again, go up here, this is Thinkorswim, great little program here for uh, uh, graphing risk graphs and all sorts of other things that are also a good brokerage. Uh, Click on this, of course, this is the underlying asset. Click buy, it pops in down here. Uh, we can look at the risk profile, of course, that's the risk profile of straight stock. All right, go back over here to add simulated trades. And if I don't like the way that that looks, of course, you know, this is downside loss all the way to zero. Uh, that could be a very hefty loss if this thing did end up going to zero. Of course, that is your true risk. It's not the distance between your stop and your entry. All right, that's what you would like to lose uh, if the stock goes against you. That would be your line in the sand. But anytime a stock gaps or does something unexpected, you don't want those catastrophic events to take you out of the game for good. So this is one way to mitigate that risk. So a lot of people will buy a protective put. All right, they call those two things. When you buy a stock and buy a protective put, they call that a synthetic call. And so I would go over here. A lot of people will do uh, one or two strikes out of the money. Again, things that are more in the money over here on the side are puts, right? So the higher you go up in price, the more in the money they are. That's why they're worth more. They have intrinsic value as well as time value in them. If you go down in strike prices for puts, of course, they get more and more out of the money. So depending on your appetite for risk, uh, if you're very, very risk averse, you could choose something at the money. And I'll show you that right now. So let's do something over here. We'll buy this one and uh, we'll make this match. Click down here. So we have 100 shares of stock with one protective put. 55 strike price, March awaits. Uh, you could choose anything you wanted to, of course. And I just arbitrarily chose uh, Janine Tech here. Uh, that could be any stock. I haven't even looked at the chart pattern. All right, so risk profile. All right now we've got that. Of course, the line curves at expiration at the 55 strike price. So if I hover over here, again, the green line is the expiration graph. The white line is where we are today. Every day that will get closer and closer to resembling the green line until expiration day. So I look down here at the bottom, 322.08. All right, I could lose $1,285 if the stock goes to $55 or less and closes there at expiration. All right, but the stock is trading right here at 67.11. That's this little red line right here, 67.11. That's live. That's this middle line. This is minus 10% and plus 10%. This little lighter blue area in here is one standard deviation from the mean, right, which we can look at in just a minute. So I'm already in the upper part of that curve, which is very nice. I'm going to make and lose money, but I've capped my downside loss. The stock could gap to three dollars <laughs> and I only lose twelve hundred eighty five dollars um, if that's too much all you have to do is become a little bit less risk averse here and choose a different strike price let's see if I can get that here for instance here's a 65's alright so here's 65 now I've capped my loss at four hundred eighty five dollars see that I can go anywhere on this green line and the most I can lose on that play is $485. Not too bad either. I'm still in the upper part of this curve. Not bad. So I've capped my downside loss. I give myself a chance to run. Very, very good. If I was even less risk averse than that, look at this. I could go 70. All right, now these are in the money puts. All right, it's above where the stock is trading right now. I can only lose $240 now. See that on this play. But what are the chances that the stock gets to 70 or above by expiration and starts making me money? 
All right, the chances are now going down a little bit. Let me drag this over here. Okay, I could even go higher. Let's say 75. Now I might only lose $90 on the play, but again, the chances that the stock goes to 75 or higher, break even would be $75 uh, plus uh, a little bit. So that is exactly here. It's going to take a lot for that stock to get to 76. If I went all the way to 80, just to be dramatic about it, I'm risking $40 on that entire position. But the chances that the stock gets to 80 or above and closes there by expiration are very, very small. And I know that because it's way outside the first standard deviation. All right, so I can also click on the probability analysis tab here. And I can hover, hit probability of expiring or probability of touching either one of these. I can click on that. So the probability of this stock getting to 80 by the February 08 strike price and date is only 8%. You see that right here. So not so good. So that's not exactly a great play. Even though I've capped my downside loss at $40, I'm only going to have an 8% chance of being right. right. That's how people will decide what makes sense for them when they decide what options to buy or sell. They'll look at the stock pattern first. They'll understand the price and volume at the highest level. They'll go in and once they decide on a direction that they're going to play, they will then come and wrap a trade around that. They could protect themselves against any catastrophic event by buying a protective put in this case, doing a synthetic, a synthetic call or a married call, they call it also. And uh, both of those are valid and they simply scroll through these strike prices until they find one that makes sense for them with regards to what they're willing to risk on that trade. Pretty nice. So that seems like a nice marriage between risk and reward uh, for me. Very, very close to at the money. Um, not bad. So I just wanted to mention that. Next time we will talk about how to protect a short side. Uh, if you sell a stock short, how do you protect yourself uh, using a, a synthetic put in that case? So very good. Thank you for joining me and uh, happy trading out there and a happy new year.